Hey, it's Handwa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Nomza Motwane. And why don't you stay and become part of my family by clicking that red subscribe button and become part of the family. All right, and if you're a regular, welcome back. Thank you once again for clicking that notification bell. So I've noticed that some of y'all still don't know how to contour and highlight. So I thought, let me plug you. We are doing a contour and highlight video. I've already applied my foundation. The foundation I'm wearing is this Clarence foundation. I just did a top five uh, foundation video, my top five favorite foundation videos. I will link it down below if you haven't seen it. Oh, we're gonna get into contouring and highlighting. So let's get right into it. Okay, I've zoomed you guys in because I want you all to see exactly what I'm doing and I'm going to leave it like this until the end of the video. And I went ahead and took, and took off my hoodie because I feel like it was on the way. Um, these are my concealers that I use to, I use under my eyes. So I've got this L'Oreal Revolutions and then Revlon as well as, okay, this one is for contour. So these are the four that I use under my eyes. Some cases you'll find me use two different concealers because concealers play two different roles under my eyes. One is for coverage to cover my dark circles and the other one is for brightening. But sometimes I usually do find a foundation that can do both. That is full coverage that can cover my dark circles and also brighten. All right. So let's just start. Let's just do. We're talking about brightening and highlighting today. So I'm only going to use a highlighting and brightening concealer and for that i'm going to use this l'oreal infallible concealer okay and then this is how i ideally highlight like so and then pinch it to the side because this foundation and this concealer a little bit of this goes a long way you don't want to use too much and you want to keep it up here up here in this sort of shape you don't want to drag it down because then your whole face is going to look highlighted and it defeats the purpose of highlighting doing the same on this side So now it is even and then I always take whatever is remaining on the brush and use it on the bridge of the nose because that's where the light hits my face. So all my high points of my face, that's the places that I want to bring forward. You are just bringing forward the high points of your face and you want to drag it up here and do your forehead as well. Some people don't like doing their forehead, so if you have a much bigger forehead than I do, you wouldn't want to accentuate it and highlight it, then it, it makes it even more bigger. But if you don't have a, a forehead, then you obviously want to highlight it. And I'm wearing a frontal, so my forehead sort of disappeared, which is why I'm going in with a little extra than I usually do. And then for covering, because this is a high coverage concealer, I also like... Uh, putting it here just the remainder and covering my mustache and then i always highlight my chin because it just gives it that look i hope you guys can see properly and then for today's video i'm going to use this wet and wild sponge to highlight because i like to let my concealer sit a little more not too long just for a few seconds i always start with okay when you're doing your under eye start from the inner part of the eye and press it in and slowly move your beauty blender and also pinch your beauty blender so that it doesn't extend the foundation to, to the area that you don't want to highlight so you press the beauty blender like so you pinch it i mean and then you press it in press in the beauty blender into the concealer so that it blends the concealer without over 
blending to the areas to the other areas of your face that you don't want to highlight like so see how easy that is how easy was that <laughs> and then i'm gonna do the same on this side okay my under eyes are highlighted they are bright the concealer you can see where the concealer stops and where it starts to avoid that i always take the foundation brush that i've just used to apply my foundation and join the two together like this you can also use the back of the sponge but i don't like the reason i don't like using the back of the sponge is because remember the the sponge is damp and if it doesn't have any products on it because i mean the, the bottom part you were not using it to highlight what happens is it sort of like takes away the product from uh, the product that you've already applied instead of blending the two together so rather use your foundation brush or if you've been you used a beauty sponge beauty blender to apply your foundation then that's also fine okay now i'm going to blend my forehead when blending my forehead i do not drag the products because now i don't want to highlight the whole forehead you just leave it there you press it in press it in like so towards your brows don't drag it up press it down towards your brows like that some people like doing this before they do their brows which is why you find a lot of people lately have been doing their brows last because you actually have a lot of room to play around if you do this um, before you do your brows again you can see where the concealer stops and you want to avoid that take your foundation brush again and buff with no products it's just excess products that was on the brush earlier on so you're just blending everything together so that you have a seamless transition i always do the bridge of the nose last because i want the nose to be snatched darling so now we can blend it out again you pinch the blender when you do your nose and you press it in going upwards upwards and downwards motions up and downward motions and like that i haven't put any contour i haven't contoured i haven't put any product but already you can see that there's a bit of dimension on my face this part is highlighted and my face is looking snatched yes if you're not sure look at me at the beginning of the video and you'll see the difference i will insert a picture here somewhere but once i'm done contouring okay to contour i'm going to use my revolutions uh foundation it's finished foundation stick um take a brush this is in the shade f14 and then the where is it where's the concealer that i just used oh my god and then the l'oreal infallible modern concealer concealer is in the shade 336 caramel fonte toffee so here i'm going to take this brush and just as a beginner you don't want to be like drawing your face like that like so with the product you rather take the brush warm it up at the back of your hand to see how much product you have like so and then you want to draw it this is my cheekbone the hard part on your cheeks that way like the hard part and it's closer to the soft part i'm trying to explain it in a simpler terms but this part is usually here you know where you know your ear is this part of the ear that's where you usually um, apply your your contour same here this is the part of the, of the ear and that's where i'm contouring See, don't bring it too forward do not bring it forward leave it as is you want to be when you're looking straight ahead like this you don't want to see it here okay and then I also contour my chin 
like so. And then my nose. I don't blink when I do this, so I'm not going to talk. Like so. When blending out your contour, you want to use an angled brush because it's easier to blend like that. So again, you are lifting the products up like so you don't want to bring it down you don't want to drag it down you want to keep it where it is and also slightly bring it up keep it where it is slightly bring it up in those motions back and forth and then if my hair was exposed that go around like so and then when you get to the forehead you push it into your hairline push it back like that to your hairline and then do the same thing on this side okay now let's blend the nose paint your brush like so if you have an eyeshadow brush that you can use that blends really well then you can use that i prefer using this Press it in like so. Concealer, it's time to set everything into place. I'm gonna start with my under eyes and set my concealer using the Candid uh, Banana Powder using my Beauty Blender. Do you wanna pick up the product like so? And then tap the excess on the back of your hand. Look up or down, whichever way you prefer. And then set your under eye, pressing the product in. Like so. Do the same. And then you can set the rest of the face wherever you've applied the concealer. We are not baking, we are setting. For the nose, I like to use this part of the brush and place it like so setting my contour i'm gonna use this scarlet heel uh contour palette and i'm gonna use this dark shade over here using the same sobe brush that i used to apply my contour circular motions and then bring it back up circular motions And then you wanna cut your face, your the fat that you find here, the double chin. You wanna use you can use cream contour as well to do this, but I didn't today. I'm just using powder contour for my nose, the same thing, but I like to tap the product out because I don't like too much product here. You set that, bring it in like so. And our face is contoured. This is how the face looks. I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera, but this is how the face looks after you've contoured and highlighted. I'm going to do everything else off camera and I'll be back. We have come to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video where I was showing you how to highlight and contour. This is how the face looks after I did a bit of blushing and highlighting off camera. This is how the face looks. 
um yeah guys um like i said we've come to the end of the video if you enjoyed this video please give it a huge thumbs up and if you have anything to say drop it down in the comments section even if it's just a um, video recommendation or suggestion just leave it down in the comment section as always thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't love you guys so much bye